shot of nature because I'm just going to be doing a lot of like Real quick, before we go any farther, this is uh, future Casey here coming back to you from tomorrow uh, to tell you that I filmed this whole thing with my phone, uh, like I do a lot of the times, but this time I tried plugging in an external microphone to make the sound a lot better to make, you know, like, better video for you. Instead, all it did was make the sound a million times worse, so I apologize for that. Sound's not super great. It's not 100% terrible either. It's still usable, but it is what it is. So, yeah, that. So I am here in Cloverdale, California, which is not quite my hometown. Uh, my hometown's actually right down the road, but uh, I have lived quite a few years of my life here in Cloverdale, and Cloverdale is the hometown of Charter Trucks. Uh, I came here, ooh, lots of years ago, right, right after they opened and started up. Met with Steve, the salesman here, who was brand new to, I think, even selling trucks at the time, and uh, drove off with a new truck. Uh, let's see if I can put a picture right in here. And now they have grown and grown and sell a whole lot of trucks, which is why I'm here today. Now, of course, we're going to go see my new truck, but if you're looking for a 579, they got just a couple of them. Ooh, this one's got cool pinstriping. Nice. And they've also got a few of these here. These were uh, uh, autonomous test trucks. That's why they have those brackets up there. They had all the autonomous cameras and stuff on there. So they have like no miles on them and like never a loaded mile these are essentially brand new trucks and then uh, over here stuffed off over in the corner they got a really nice uh, Volvo heavy haul truck I think it's got the DT16 in it um, with the I shift transmission it's actually a very good combo um, full lockers in the rear end these are actually a super, super comfortable interior. If you've never driven one, everything's, ooh, Volvo trucks. But then you drive one and you like it. This one has Cozide ramps on the back and it's got the removable tails, which I really like and I preferred on my trucks. Now you put a pinnel hitch here. Uh, you can still jackknife the pinnel hitch trailer without the tails being in the way, but you still have the long tails for heavy trailers. This is a, a very, very well set up truck. Look at this stubby little guy here. This, this is not my new truck, but isn't it just so cute? So we're going to go find Steve, and uh, you're not going to find a better, quicker, to the point, let's get some stuff done salesman um, than Steve. He, he makes things happen, and like this whole deal got put together on this truck in like three text messages and one phone call in a day and a half. So he makes things happen. So we found Steve, and Steve found my truck. <laughs> right. This is Steve. If you need to buy a truck, or even sell a truck. Even sell a truck. We'll sell a truck. They'll, they'll buy your trucks if you want to sell them. You want to like change out your whole fleet, and he'll buy it all. We'll buy it. This is what Steve got me. Long wheelbase, Western Star. Plenty of frame for um, shenanigans. shenanigans. Lots of room for activities back there. But you're not going to see what those activities are just yet because it hasn't happened just yet, but it will. So this is 2016 and DD13, 13 speed transmission. Under 350,000 miles. Under 350,000 miles. And it's like a white blank slate to do whatever I want with. My daughter says it needs pink on it. Oh, definitely got to put pink on yeah. it. Yeah. So fenders. Pink fender stripes. We can do that. Hey, and when I leave here, I can go show them a truck with pink fenders because we're going to my grandparents' house. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Check this thing out. This is like the nicest vehicle I have ever owned. It's so cool how they even put the Wonder Woman logo on there for you. <laughs> <laughs> but we got lots of switches, lots of gauges, super clean interior, a sleeper with big windows and a skylight. I am excited about this thing. And I'm even more excited about what I'm going to do with it. You know what it is. Can't wait to see it. It's going to be fun. So uh, next, let's go show you that truck with the pink fenders. And if you need a truck or you want to sell a truck, call Steve. Right here. Uh, here we go. Pulling another truck out of Charter. It's been a while since I've done this. But just as happy as I've been every other time. So 
We are now going to go down uh, the road just a ways to my grandparents' house. What do you think? What do I think? Yeah. I think it looks pretty nice except for that right there. So we made it to my grandparents' <laughs> house. My grandpa's in here talking smack about my truck because it's got too many pedals in it. The rest of it's pretty good. Yes, it is. It's got a place to take a nap. Yep. That's the important part. Oh, yeah. Four years, five years ago, I said, Doc, it's just right. Just right. But after driving that Allison, somebody asked me the other day, he says, well, how do you know when to shift it? I says, half the time, you don't even know when it shifts. Yeah, just let it do what it wants just, to do. And right off the bat, when I was driving that Allison to start with, I found out that, just like you said, you fight it, you're going to be fighting it, and you're going to be cussing all the time. Just push that button and just let it do what it's going to do for a while until you realize what it's going to do, and then you can tell it what you want it to do. But if you start fighting it... Game over. You're game over. It's just a crying shame that... I got a grandson that told me, oh, you Ben, then Allison, that's the way to go. That's the way to go. <laughs> if I would have ordered this new, I would have got the Allison for sure. But beggars can't be choosers. I don't think about it. I think this is almost the same seat as in that Freightliner, but it feels more comfortable, more cushy. Well, all the Western Star is is a fancy Freightliner. You want to see the best part? I packed this whole suitcase for the trip, but there's not any clothes in it. Because it's only an overnight trip, so I don't need extra clothes. But I do need a pillow <laughs> and a blankie. So I packed bedding. So this is the truck my grandpa's driving. He's spoiled with the Allison Automatic. And that, he talked so much smack about the Allison Automatic when I told him to buy one. And now you can't get him out of it. Like my automatic. And this one here is my grandma's old truck. This is one of the pink fenders I was telling you. Uh, my grandma, how, how long did grandma run this truck for? I don't know, she drove it for 15 years at least. Oh, way more than that, yeah. way more than that. So she, she ran this truck for a very long time. Uh, until it was no longer California carb compliant, which is why they got those, those freight liners now. And, uh, but they could never sell it. So it stays here. It needs a bath. Your truck's starting to look like my trucks. Yeah, but this is still a good old truck. Yeah, it is. So, one day, this will get a nice refresh. Yeah, I can sit that truck. I don't have to worry about... The computer shutting me off. I can go out there and I don't know, I've been sitting there for at least six months. I'm pretty sure it'll start right off. Oh yeah. And then go anywhere you want to go. And go anywhere I want to go. How many how many times did that truck save my business when my trucks were down? I had to come borrow this one and go haul equipment with it? I don't know. I was looking at a video the other day of you driving grandma's truck and I'm looking, holy shit, grandma didn't know it was out there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I've, I've had that truck out in some woods roads. But that truck saved my butt a few times when my trucks went down and that one was always just ready to go. So, so yeah, even though that one can't run in California anymore, it still stays here just, just in case. Not like you can actually go anywhere, but it's too good of a truck to let go. There's another one right there that can't run California, but there's not a damn thing wrong with it. Yeah, this this is another super cool truck. This truck, super long wheelbase, and uh, runs great. The best thing ever about this one, this one was in a junkyard ready to get scrapped and crushed. Yep. And then my the grandpa found it, and you traded the guy for a wreck truck because he wanted the engine out of the wreck truck drug this one home, and then we messed with it here in the yard, got it running, and then I ran over the dog poop bucket and smeared dog poop all over the driveway. And then we went and drove it up and down the road with only like half the tires on it. And then they got it all cleaned up and running. And it's still got the original in uh, 
420 motor in it. What I'll do, I'll put uh, here, remember when we took these two to the truck show? Yep. We shined up both these two trucks and took them to a truck show. And uh, I'll, I'll put those pictures in here. They were looking good back then. They'd still clean up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And what, you were 21 when you bought this truck? No, I was... I was 20. The first time I ever saw this truck, the guy that owned it was Simon Fresno. And I told him, man, I want to drive that truck. I want a job. And he asked me how old I was. And he, he, I told him, he said, come back and see me when you're 25. Well, by the time I was 25, I owned three trucks of my own. And But when he died, I went and bought it. This one, that bubble nose over there, and the freight and iron that's sitting up there and on 97 in Oregon somewhere. <laughs> so, trivia time. Hmm? How many years ago was that when you were 20 and first saw this? Uh, <laughs> 60-some-odd years ago. Some odd years. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is another super cool truck. There are not many of these left. Yeah, you're right. It would be neat to drive that up and down the road and just every time you saw a car truck just go. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's stick it. You might do that. I wouldn't do that. No, you, you, you would never do something like that. So if you want a cab over of your own, this Freightliner here, this one is for sale. Out of all the things in this yard, this is the only thing that's for sale. It's actually cab-wise and body-wise in really good shape. Um, but you want to keep the drum, though. It's got a 335 and a 13-speed in it. I'd like to keep that to put into a Peterbilt. Actually, what I really want to get rid of is just the cabin frame, fuel tanks rear ends so if you want a cabin frame and fuel tanks and rear ends here you go the cooper trucks your old arch nemesis and best friends all at the same time mm -hmm. <laughs> back in the lumber hauling days yeah the cooper you no know, matter if you were the jippo or you were working against them or whatever if you were broke down you needed help 24 hours, 24 7. They were there. The door is open, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this truck needs to see the road again. I've been looking for a computer for this thing. I couldn't find one to match it. Oh, that's a bummer. The, the engine in this one looks just like the engine in my rollback does right now. I like how you have the polishing ball sitting there just ready to go. That way, once it's well, ready to hit the road, you can clean it up real quick. I think I, think I was going to clean, do some polishing. That's as far as it got. <laughs> you see this old school tow boom here? It's a sling tow unit. It goes in the kingpin, and then you, you sling tow a truck off the back. Uh, how long ago did you build that? I didn't build it. I bought that from Lily and Sons 30 years ago. Uh, Probably farther back than that. No, they haven't been out of business that long. <laughs> and I bought it before they went out of business. And then and Arnold Lilly built it. <laughs> and then at some point, uh, it bent right there. But the funny thing is that bend makes it fit just perfect. So it stayed, but it made it work even better. And then I took it and I cleaned it all up and repainted it and added a winch roller to the top so you could use a winch to lower it up and down. and. Then I towed trucks with it way back in the day. Uh, I think I even towed, no, I didn't, that one was a different one. Yeah, I use that to tow trucks around. That's, that's the original Cascade Heavy yeah, Rescue. That was the original Cascade. <laughs> yeah, so. this is the original Cascade Heavy Rescue right here. <laughs> it, it's even the same color as my logo is now. I didn't even realize that. And you put all that roller stuff up there and I've never used it since. Yeah, because I'd use the winch to go over that and can winch it up and down. You had a winch that fit in that? Yep, a winch goes in there. I did it so a winch goes in there and then you can go up and just snatch block down to the boom 
and then you pull the pin out and you can lower it up and down, put the pin back in. But on my uh, my Argosy, I had the big winch mounted on the back of the cab, you know, behind yeah. the cab, and that would run this up and down. What he used to do, old school way, he'd put a bottle jack in there, and he'd raise and lower the bottle jack and then stick that pin in to, to hold it up and down. And then now he just wants nothing but an automatic track. <laughs> so I was going down the road here, and I ran into my Uncle Doug. So now he's right here. And we're watching this guy here. Uh, he got his anchor stuck in a piece of brush. Now he jumped in the water to try to fight it out of there. And he is just having like one hell of a time with it. He's been at it for like 10 minutes now, solid. This is better than TV. Really? <laughs> yeah. Dude, I would cut that rope and buy a new anchor long before I yeah. jumped in this water. He's having a word with it now, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It never uh, fails. When you take this route through Lake County, you will see something entertaining every freaking time. Uh, oh, he's going to fall out. If he tips that boat over. That'd be funny. Okay, this guy gave up, walked off. There goes Uncle Doug, he's heading back into his truck there, and uh, I am going to continue my trip north, back towards Oregon. Oh, oh that's terrible. Turn the Jake off before you try shifting. Oh yeah, that was way better. Rookie move. Alright, let's get rolling. So as you can tell by it being the next day, it is the next day. Made it home late last night and I didn't film any of the rest of the trip home because literally nothing happened on the whole rest of the trip home. Truck ran smooth and great as could be, uh, even green lighted right through all the scales, even though I don't have license plates or DOT numbers or even trip permits. Well to be fair, I, I do have trip permits for Oregon to get it home, I just didn't get any of the California trip permits because California likes to play games sometimes. so. I like to play games back. Have for many, many years. That's kind of an old little cat and mouse game that uh, me and California play. But uh, either way, uh, I was hoping for a very boring trip with this truck because I don't think I mentioned before, but I bought this truck completely sight unseen. And I'm talking like bought, paid for, paper sign. I bought it long before I ever saw it. And uh, luckily for me, uh, when I got there, the truck Steve described to me is the exact truck that was sitting there nothing more nothing less he didn't hype it up he didn't understate it this is exactly what i was expecting to get right down to every little tire and detail on it i mean he was as accurate as he could have possibly been on this so i am very happy about that and it is just like he said i could hook a trailer to this thing right now and go to work you know despite the whole like no dot numbers and license plates thing but other than that all i can think of that it needs it's not even now it's just before winter time this axle of tires will need to be replaced i mean they're plenty plenty good for now but this one's got much newer tires on it so before winter replace those maybe all eight we'll see what it's looking like by then but other than that hook a trailer and go i do have some much much bigger plans for this truck it's going to be full of lots of shenanigans and uh, you may notice there's no other big truck in my yard, just this one. And that is because my big rollback is still sitting in a shop waiting to get done. Uh, 
Now that's kind of confusing like you saw me say it was broke down in a video like a couple three two weeks ago whatever that was and then you saw videos of being used and that's because the videos got a little bit out of order because i wanted to get that update video on rodney out right away so i posted it the very next day after it was filmed and normally they take like a couple weeks to actually get posted so that one jumped in line ahead of all the others where i said the rollback had broke down but then there was a bunch of rollback videos after that um Either way, it's, it's been a couple weeks since it actually broke down as of when I'm filming this. And allegedly, it is now done and ready to go. Today is Saturday. Uh, so I'll go pick it up Monday morning and we'll see. Hopefully. And then we'll have two trucks sitting here to do shenanigans with. And that means twice the fun. So uh, next time you see me, hopefully I'll be in the rollback doing rollback things. Thanks for watching. Oh, and real quick before I go, uh, you know, in the beginning I said I tried a new microphone plugged into my phone to, you know, make the sound better, improve the quality, it made it terrible and all that now. And then now this whole part here, it sounds a whole lot better. That's because I'm just not using any microphones at all. I'm just letting it pick up whatever it picks up and that's a hundred times better. So the whole like improving the quality thing is out the window. I'm over it, done with it. Uh, let's just, let's just make videos about fun stuff.